uh, how are you, everybody? Uh, we, as Tatwir Chess Academy, uh, is welcoming uh, all the participants from all around the world, from Piro, uh, Spain, Denmark, uh, Greece, Cyprus, uh, Turkey, uh, Indonesia, Pakistan, and uh, I hope I did not forget any country. There is Lesotho and Kenya as well. And uh, I am from Sudan and Egypt, both of them. And uh, our lecturer, uh, the great lecturer, well-known lecturer, uh, is uh, Mr. Mahdi Abdul Rahim uh, from uh, UAE. Uh, he's the chairman of the Rules Commission uh, on FIDI. Uh, so now we will start a week of lectures, um, number 104 uh, lecture on the series. I want to convey to you the greetings of uh, Mr. Niboza and uh, also um, Mr. Lorient. Uh, they are both the chairman and uh, uh, and the secretary of uh, FIDI Arbiters Commission. Uh, so uh, now we will give you like one minute. Everyone can say hi to uh, Mr. Mahdi, and then we will start our lecture. Hello, uh, Mehdi, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. I'm Muhammad Siddiq from Pakistan. I hope I would enjoy this with you, sir. Thank you, Muhammad Siddiq. <coughs> okay, shall I start? Uh, first of all, I okay, would I like to... Are people are ready? Yes. Okay. I would like to introduce myself to you. My name is Mahdi Abdurrahim. I am from Dubai, uh, UAE, uh, UAE, United Arab Emirates. And uh, I played chess when I was 10 years old. Then I became chess arbiter when I was uh, 16 years, so very young. So I became international arbiter in 1992. Then international organizer 2006, uh, international lecturer 2006 until now. So uh, international organizer, I have three, four titles. Um, became member of uh, uh, FIDA Rules uh, Commission, then chairman of FIDA Rules Commission. And I went one with the consul, uh, consular of the arbiter commission for a long time, for 10 years. Now I'm chairman of the Asian Chess uh, Federation Arbiters Commission. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, uh, Mr. Obai uh, Ali, uh, Director Manager of the Tatwir Chess Academy, uh, which is located in uh, Egypt. And uh, then I would thank all participants in this, uh, attending this seminar and uh, attending today. Uh, as I know, there is a time difference between many of you, a different geographical location. And we have uh, people who have the morning time, we have an afternoon, and evening and midnight. So uh, according to the different time. So we try our best to uh, select this time, which is suitable, not 100%, but at least 60% suitable for some of you. Uh, and I apologize also for the uh, delay postponing the, my period uh, of similar two days due to my ill health. And uh, we will try to reduce the timing uh, and uh, extending the number of days. Uh, so thank you everybody. And I wish to enjoy and uh, learn something or get some information from this seminar. First, before we start uh, uh, talk about the FIDA laws of chess, uh, I want to share with you the standard uh, equipment, standard equipment of the chess must be for our uh, um, official events, or our rated event, our title event. This is something like uh, official standard must be uh, uh, provided by the organizer. Uh, so we have, as you know, the equipment uh, consists of the chess clock, uh, chess table, chess board, uh, and uh, chess pieces. Uh, chess equipment uh, for uh, international registered tournament, the following specification must be included. The approval of the chief arbiter, 
with the approval of the players. Sometimes uh, they have uh, uh, pieces which is not suitable for some player. For example, uh, some player that are blind or they have weak in the eyes cannot uh, see very well color of the pieces. In this case, you can ask uh, arbiter to bring the, the uh, something which is can seen. Uh, I remember in Turkey, in uh, Istanbul, Olympia of Istanbul, I was one of sector arbiter. One uh, player came to me and asked, uh, said, uh, see, I cannot see the white color. I said, how possible? Because the white color, it was uh, very white and shining because cannot be pieces shining, must be matte, not glossy. So um, uh, in this case, I asked the organizer, they provide uh, other material and then it was good for him and continue play. So here, sometimes we need to solve the problem same immediately. So this is uh, depend of the, how level of arbiter and how is experience to solve this problem immediately. If, if not experienced, maybe you said, okay, you can play now. After the round, we will see other uh, pieces for you. No. Cannot. You have to give him what he needs. This must be approval between the chief arbiter and approval with the players, especially the chess equipment. Because the game is between two players, not arbiter and player. For that, we have to provide and give the player what's the suitable for them. Uh, the same tools and, and their uh, specification are used for all rounds in the tournament. This means if I use, for example, in uh, round one, uh, DGT clock uh, 2010, then uh, round three, I used DGT 3000, or maybe in uh, one round, I used uh, plastic uh, equipment, plastic chess pieces. Then I came to the, the second round of, of, and so on, I used the wooden chess pieces. Cannot be, cannot be. Once you start, same equipment must be ended in the tournament. Uh, the chess pieces is, we have different type of chess pieces. We have, uh, wooden pieces and we have plastic uh, pieces. Uh, it must be made of wood and plastic or any imitation of this material. Cannot be um, made in glass, Can, cannot be made of stone because glass and stone, they fall down, they're broken. So it cannot be from this type of uh, material. Uh, the height of the king should be 8.5 centimeter too. 10.5, this is the maximum, this is the lower, 8.5. In uh, such as uh, event, uh, uh, which is the high level event, they use 10.5, which uh, good pieces and uh, with a little bit bigger size. The normal size of king must be uh, 9.5. This is the standard, standard king size tall must be 9.5, but can be 8.5 for the kids, for the youth tournament, no problem. And for adult can start from 9.5 until 10.5 centimeter. And uh, the, uh, the diameter of the king base should be between 40 to 50% of its height. For example, if we high 10 centimeter, so the, the diameter of base must be between four uh, four centi to five centimeter. And uh, the size of the other pieces must be proportion to the high, to their high and shape, because it must be uh, a shape of, uh, for example, bishop different from shape of the knight, different from the pawn, different from the queen. So uh, as we know, king, we have the, uh, and the, the king, there the, uh, tag or they put some square or something that will be in the very familiar for the king. We know uh, th this is the king, a queen also we know, but between bishop, for bishop and pawn must be little bit different. Bishop piece little bit small and uh, bishop must be uh, bigger than pawn. For that we can recognize which one is pawn, which one the bishop. Uh, Light pieces should be white or cream. So we always call in white and black and white, but actually it's, it's dark and light. So light can be white or can be cream. So dark piece must be brown or black. Cannot be another color. For example, cannot be green, cannot be yellow, cannot be red color, because this type of color for pieces 
cannot use for the, our official tournament. Uh, okay, we can use in the cafe and some restroom somewhere, somewhere we have for fun. Yes, we can use at home. We can use just for fun, use the color for pieces. And, uh, but for the official, for the rated event, cannot. So uh, another dark shape or this color and always the, the pieces cannot be, uh, we try to the pieces to be uh, not shining, not reflecting with, a, with the lighting, the highlighting, uh, so no cannot be reflect to eyes of the player and must be matte, not uh, shining. A chessboard, so we have several types of the chessboard. The chessboard can be leather, can be on the right side, it's leather, can be the, like cartoon, strong cartoon, can be uh, like uh, filling with plastic and can be wooden, wooden. And this type of wood may be, uh, can be electronic, can be non-electronic. For the official event, FIDA official event, special for high level, they recommend to be electronic pieces or electronic chess board. Uh, for the other tournament, it is recommended to use board made of wood, plastic, or card or carbon or card or some like cartoon or can be leather also. And same thing to the chessboard cannot be uh, uh, must be, must be uh, matte, not glossy. Uh, same like pieces, so uh, cannot be reflect uh, the, the lighting to the eye to the uh, a player. And the size of the square should be twice the diameter of the base of the palm. Five to six. If you can see from the the board down the button, there is the square uh, of the 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 board. We have eight by eight, so each one each square must be between five and six centimeters. Okay, and uh, this means can be from uh, uh, 50, uh, 50, uh, 55 to sixty. Can be from can be 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter or 55 centimeters by 55 centimeters and so on. The chess table. So we have different type of chess table, but always recommend to be wood chess table because other type may be broken. The glasses can be broken. The the light chess table can be moved and will be maybe during the game will be problem with the players make sound or. Uh, so, but this is the type of chessboard must be uh, like uh, wood and a size, size of chessboard is considered, depending on the type of the uh, event and level of the players. Uh, the size of the table should not be less than twice of the length of the chessboard and 15 to 20 centimeter more wide than the chessboard. This is, must be for official events. It is recommended to use table of at least 120 times 80 centimeter in size for the official tournament of international federation, which means high level tournament, like uh, such as uh, tournaments give the title with many grandmaster, international masters is high level of tournament. For other tournaments, the high must be uh, 74 centimeter then we have length 110, then width 85. This is the standard uh, level for the table. The height of the table and chairs should be comfortable for the players. And no noise when they're moving, the, the chairs should be avoided, so no noise. So we try always to find solution, solution at the same time if you find something, for example, if you if we find that sound is coming from chair or from the table itself, so here arbiter can bring something to fix it down and uh, make not move on, make not make uh, sound. Or if possible, we can replace with a new chair or new table. Uh, in this case, so uh, for that arbiter has to be early before start of the round, one hour before must be in the tournament hall and uh, his duty to check this all equipment, uh, check the score sheet, uh, clocks, table, pieces, uh, chessboard, everything. This is his duty. 
the clocks. So we have different type of the clocks. As you know, for a long time, we have mechanical uh, uh, analog clock. Then uh, in, 19, in 1992, uh, they provide clock, the digital clock, uh, clock uh, came uh, and the people were using. Though now they improved the clock, digital clock, they became a different type. Uh, first, start with the Excel. Uh, Excel was using uh, for the electronic board uh, since 2000. Then after that, they came uh, on the right side. If you are seeing the right side clock, this is DGT 3000, but this is new addition. This is uh, the color, uh, brown color, like wood color. This is new addition, but uh, it's, it's red not color. It's, no. not, it's not showing now. What is new showing? Not showing, can you cannot see? Uh, you said, uh, look at, yes, you said, look at the clocks, no. No, you can you can see my database, my presentation. No, it's not sharing now. How not sharing? Why you not stop me? I long time was talking about. Really? Oh, but you have to tell me. Okay. I spoke for half an hour. No, it was working and then it stopped. How possible? Now you can see? Yes. OK. Yes, yes, yes we can see okay. now. You didn't see the previous ones, correct? Chessboard? Yes. Chess no. Ball? No? Yes. Even this one? So I, no, I no, have we to did not see that. So this means I have to start from the beginning. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So why you why you do to stop me? It must be tell something. We cannot see the data show. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. no problem. Uh -huh. I will repeat. Okay, this type is standard of chess equipment. We have clock, chess table, chess board, and chess pieces. So we have different type of the uh, chess board and chess pieces. Uh, chess board can can be uh, as I said can be plastic, made of filling, can be carton, can be wooden chess board. And chess table only can be a wooden. And clocks, so we have two types of clocks. We have a wooden clock and we have a wooden clock, which is a very old clock, uh, with, which is analog clock. Uh, analog and, uh, uh, is uh, different from uh, DGT. DGT, digital clock is uh, just uh, uh, came uh, in 1992. Uh, before was uh, analog clock for that uh, mechanical clock. This always made problem. Then I will discuss during the the, uh, the my lecture what what different, what the decision of arbiter when the clock is fell. So uh, then this type of uh, equipment must be approved between chief arbiter and the players. They must be approved. Otherwise cannot play if for for example then is this all i'm talking about the official equipment which official tournament when i said official meaning this title and rated tournament this is official but if someone use a different type of uh, pieces different type of shape shape of pieces and different colors uh, but for local event this is uh, no problem because this is local and this is uh, not official but for the official must be considered as according to the FIDA regulation. So, so same tools and uh, must be uh, used from round one until round 10, and, uh, at round seven, eight, nine, at the event of the number of rounds. So cannot uh, uh, change the, the uh, equipment, uh, have, have a tournament to plastic and have a start with the uh, wooden, cannot be like this. So it will be same material from, from beginning until end. And uh, chess pieces, as I said, this is made in wood and plastic. And uh, the high of the king must be between 8.5 to 10.5 centimeter. And a diameter of uh, king base must be 40 to 50 uh, percentage of a high. Then uh, I spoke about the, uh, the type of uh, pieces. My, we have light pieces, we have dark pieces, which we call black and white. But light must be black, uh, white light must be white and cream, and dark can be black and be brown. 
So uh, no red, no yellow, no green, no other color. Uh, so we have uh, a wooden, as, as you see on the right side, on the left side, the plastic uh, chess pieces. Chess board, so many types of chess board we have. On the right side, this is the, on the right and the top, this is leather, leather chess board. Then we have uh, this one, medium carton, strong carton. Then the middle, this uh, fill-in chessboard, the plastic. On the left side, this is a wood chessboard. This is electronic BGT uh, wooden uh, chessboard. And uh, the square, the size of the square should be twice diameter of the base of the pawn, five to six centimeter. This means we have we have uh, eight times eight. If we we consider we have five centimeter, five times eight, this is meaning 40 centimeter. This is the less one we can use. This is for the youth, for the uh, players under 14, for example. But for the player, uh, adult and other, we can go for six centimeter. Uh, six centimeters, so if uh, times six times uh, eight, then we give the figure, this figure must be, and normally, start from 45 to 55 centimeter, 55 by 55 or 45 by 45 and can be 50 by 50 centimeters. And uh, the tables we have can, must be uh, wooden and uh, the high must be 74 centimeter length, 110 width, width will be with 85 uh, uh, centimeter. Just, just now we talk about the, the clocks. The clocks could be plastic, as you see on the left side, within plastic, or can be fiber. Uh, and uh, in the middle, this is wooden. This is a very old clock. This clock was using for a long time, until the 1992, then, uh, Digital clock uh, arrive and we using digital. But still, in some countries till now they are using analog clock. Till now, for that, feeder laws of chess still they have one article regarding if the both flag fell, they here arbiter take decision as a draw because we don't know which one fell before. This is analog, while the digital very 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 easy to know which one fell first because they will be signed like uh, zero, zero, minus zero, zero, or like flag. So very clear for arbiter knows which one fell before other. So the clock uh, uh, fixed by the so-called flag so that it is fall can be uh, clearly seen by arbiter or by player itself. Uh, this is help arbiter and players to check the time. In this case, we know which one fell first. Uh, mechanical or analog chess clock must have a device that accurately indicated. So like a flag is coming as you seen in the middle, you have something signed like red. This red is the flag. This is the flag. When the fell down, so when the fell, this meaning he lost by time. But arbiter must be careful of a player itself. When he's seen the, the, the opponent, uh, clocks fell, he has to stop the clock and call the arbiter. If he's not stopped the clock, he went to call arbiter. When he come back and arbiter, if we see both clock fell, so he will take decision as a draw. So in this case, uh, arbiter must be care or players can be very careful to stop the clock, especially for analog. For digital, uh, very clear, we know uh, anyone fell before. It should work as sign, uh, silent, so not noisy. Some clock is very noisy, especially this wooden clock is very noisy. When you press, it makes, makes sound very noisy. And uh, OK, even we have some digital clocks make noise, but we have some other than new arrival, which cannot hear very slow, so no, that sound very loudly. Uh, so cannot disturb uh, the players during the, uh, the gameplay. Uh, and this clock uh, must operate it in uh, strict accordance with the laws of chess. Uh, the screen must be at all time displayed to the available for complete. It must be available for the players and available for the 
uh, arbiters. So players, when they move from his table, when he walk around uh, from three meters, he can watch, he can see the, the scream uh, of the clock and he, he, he can uh, understand if, if clocks is now, uh, which level is rich. And uh, the screen must uh, at all time display the time available to the complete the player's next move. And so we have also Digity uh, 3000, which is in the top and the left. And we have North American, the blue one. Uh, North American, is, I think they're very familiar, familiar in the part of American or North, or that they call North American, using this type of clock. And uh, as I say, for, for uh, Digity electronic board, we use uh, uh, Digity 3000. Because only the DG3000 and Excel, uh, only these two types can connect uh, with the e-board. For the distance of the, at least 10 meters, the player must have a clear indication of the uh, clock that is working. So very from 10 meters, I can watch because now we have digital and digital is very clear with the big screen. Uh, we can see the time. If the time is up, the clock should give a sign on the screen, a clear indication of the which player has extended, exceeded uh, the time limit. So we can see a flag sign or we can see minus zero zero. This is very clear for arbiter to take decision, which one uh, fell is clock first. For battery powered clock, give low battery indication. So uh, during the game, arbiter has to move and check uh, the clocks. Because sometimes in the top in the, uh, in the clock and the screen, they show word, small word like BAT, B-A-T, which means the low of battery. Okay, this is low of battery, but cannot stop the, uh, the game because low of battery meaning still maybe uh, for 30, 30 hours can work. But the better, better for, for, uh, for you as an arbiter and even for the player, uh, to change the clock, bring the new clock and uh, replace it and fix the, the clock, uh, the timer for both sides, then take approval from the both player. Is it correct or not? If it said yes, correct, then you can use the new clock and continue the game. But don't leave like this because, you know, sometimes a player became nervous. Oh, why, why is showing but meaning I afraid my, my, my clock became off. So for that, better to change. Uh, better to change the clock. Uh, also, uh, in electronic clocks uh, that use increment time, like Fisher mode can be 30 seconds, uh, 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 3 seconds, uh, 2 seconds, 5 seconds. So it depends on the time control. So there will be Fisher mode and delay also. The clock must not add any additional time after the original time has expire it. That is counter is zero, must be counter zero. A long time or not long time, maybe in last Olympiad, last chess Olympiad, and in, in, uh, it was in Georgia, uh, Batumi. Um, from beginning, we use the move counter. I advise uh, the organizer of the chief arbiter, don't use uh, move counter because this make problem during the game because sometimes what happened, if you fix move counter, for example, uh, according the, to the time control of Chess Olympiad, uh, we have 90 minutes for 40 moves, then 30 minutes uh, to end the game with increment of 30 uh, second per move, starting from move one. So what happened, uh, once the 40 moves is finished, so the clock automatic give you the remaining time. So first time control, 90 minutes, second time control, 30 minutes. So once the uh, 40 moves finish, we see how many minutes left from first time control, for example, 10 minutes, then automatic give the, uh, add to the uh, second time control, they give you 40 minutes. Uh, okay, this is sometimes not work because you know, during the games, maybe a player, he fell some pieces, and the opponent said, please fix your pieces on your time. He pressed the clock. Other said, no, this is your 10. 
pressing two, three times. Okay, this is when they're pressing the move counter inside the chest clock, we reduce it from 40 moves become 39, 38, 37. Well, the move counter will be go down, but <laughs> this is not human. <laughs> for, for that, uh, maybe in, in the system and the clock show the complete 40 moves while they only play 37 moves, not 40 moves. Why? Because both the player are pressing the clock so many times without move. Uh, for that, uh, then we advise not uh, use the move counter. So then we remove because it happened really some problem during the chess Olympiad because the move counter. Now, uh, we don't advise to use move counter, uh, better not using uh, such as cases happen. Uh, in case of the correcting the time due to penalty, if we, during the game, maybe there will be illegal move, then we are, we talk about illegal move later. Uh, if there is illegal move, so uh, arbiter wants to punch the, the uh, player, then according to the feeder uh, laws of chess, we have to add uh, uh, two minutes to the uh, opponent, adjust to his uh, uh, remaining time, two minutes, extra two minutes. So in this case, uh, when you do this system to install and to add two minutes, don't take, don't spend the time. So try within 30 seconds, maximum 30, 60 seconds to do and fix the time. Don't take long time because some arbiters, what happened when you want to add, it take long time, opens, which sometimes switch complete the, uh, the, the clock and will be under problem to see how many, uh, how many time to spend each player and what's big problem. Some, some arbiters are not experienced for the fixing the installing the time and uh, what's problem. So if you don't know, ask your neighbor, your arbiter, your colleague, to, uh, ask him, please, uh, can you fix the time for me? Uh, don't be shame. Don't say, I will try. Maybe you try wrongly. Maybe you give the wrong time control to other For you, maybe you spend, spend more than two, three minutes to fix the clock for that. Uh, try uh, whether the plus or minus shall not exceed exceed uh, 60 seconds. So from 30 to, to 60 seconds maximum. Electronic chess clock used in the official FIDA event must be approved by FIDA Technical Commission, usually DGT 3000. So any devices, any new uh, clocks arrive uh, must go to the Technical Commission. And uh, any company, for example, uh, I'll give you one example, KK. KK, uh, international arbiter from Singapore, okay, he provide and, uh, uh, for one clock, small size, called KK 9908. And uh, he wants to be feed approved. So to, to approve the clock, he has to pay, I think, something about 10,000 euros for the uh, feeder. And the technical commission uh, take this clock with the member of technical commission and check all system inside the clock is work or not, is increment is working or not, uh, delay or everything check. Then they wrote their uh, report to the technical commission. After that, they decide approve or not approve. So first time not approve, then this guy tries second time uh, pay another, 10,000 euros, uh, euros, not approved third time, the approve. Now we can find the small uh, KK9908, uh, which FIDA approved. This first China, first China clock is approved by FIDA and very nice clock, small size, uh, suitable for school uh, players and for uh, youth and uh, with one battery and uh, very cheap. Uh, something about, uh, I think, uh, $18 or, or $19 or $20 and cheap and with, uh, with a 37 time control. So no need to install manually, all option there, just you have to select the number and all time control there in this clock. So approve it. So if, for example, anybody wants to bring out uh, a new clock, have to have have to go to has to go to the technical commission 
and uh, feed a technical commission, then uh, uh, pay, pay the fees, 10,000 euros, and they will go and check the clock is that suitable for using for the official feed or not. Um, Playroom room of venues. The venues also, for high level tournament, the minimum of nine square meter of board space is required. So depend of the level of a tournament, level of the players, and uh, if the level high level must minimum be nine square meter of board space around the board, we can check must be minimum nine square meter required space for the arbiter and spectator not included. So sometimes we have this distance between the, the table and spectator must be one, one meter. So this one meter is not included, uh, which include the around of the table that uh, must be uh, uh, nine square meters of the board space. For other tournament, the area should not be less than three square meters for the board. So, so not less than three, can be four meter, five meters, six meters, but not less than three. The distance between the chess board and the spectators. This is also depend on the type a level of the tournament. If the, for the youth, if the, for the normal, for the local uh, organizer tournament, this can be one meter. But uh, if they're for the high level, at least a minimum must be 1.5 meter minimum, but usually if you make more than one and a half meters, or maybe sometimes reach to 10 meters. So it must be very far to not disturb the player. The venue, we have different type of venues, as you see, can be venue, can be in the club, can be venues uh, in the uh, school, can be in the theater, can be in the, the uh, exhibition area, can be in the hotel, can be in the federation. So different type of venues, they call in the venues. And the setup of the equipment must be very uh, spacey place and depend on the level of the tournament, a level of the players also. On the right side, if you can see, this is for high level uh, tournament. Uh, between table and table, very nice space and nice equipment, equipment, equipment with the, uh, all materials, table, chess set, uh, chairs, and also there's data show, screen showing the games, very nice venue on the right. In the, in the middle, this is other, uh, in the, this is in the hotel, but uh, as you see, the, the little bit crowded and many, many participants is close to each other. And in the left side, this can be for the amateur tournament with the open and uh, can be sitting next to each other with many players. And the organizer shall provide the best play condition. Those are for avoiding any convenience caused by the lights or noise or particular. For example, I am an arbiter, or you are chief arbiter, or are you arbiter in the event? You have to go first in the first, always we said in the first day and first round, we go one hour before. Because the first day always the problem. Some players don't, don't know where their place, especially the youth, uh, young players, small boys, children don't know where. Maybe they're sitting very wrong place, play wrong color. So we have to advise them. We have to help this, this type of the players. And uh, for that, we need to be one hour before and check everything, check tables, equipment, check everything. Lighting, maybe lighting is not good, maybe it's dark. So in this case, we have one hour to solve the problem. Go to the organizer, hello organizer, please. Uh, tournament hall, uh, no lighting, uh, we need more lighting. Can you bring something more? To, uh, or sometimes, uh, okay, they're playing in, in, the, in the morning time, with the natural lights coming from window from outside. Then in the, at night time, we came dark and cannot see the pieces. So in this case, this is our job to solve this the problem. So no blending shades from the sun or spots, air condition without any sound, especially if we are in the summertime, 
we have to check if there is air condition, uh, good atmosphere for the player. Uh, in, in, in the winter, we need uh, heater or something will be warm inside the venue. So even this is our job to check. Uh, for that, the FIDA, they send their technical people for the, the world championship, any uh, world cycles, and any official FIDA. They send uh, two months or three months before to inspection and check the area of venue if everything is suitable very well. If not, they can uh, write in the report, no, you have to change the lighting, you have to make more lighting, you can change the table, this table not suitable, this chair not good for this level of uh, player. So you have to write the report before you start the event. The doors should open and close without noise. Sometimes the doors, when they open the doors and stuck, Tuck, make sound, make very noisy, you disturb the player. So we, we have also check everything is okay. Don't disturb by the moving chair on the ground or walking players and the spectators. So I remember in 19, in 2014, I think, it was uh, Peter Grand Prix for a woman in Doha and Qatar. Uh, okay, it was one hotel, five star hotel in the venue. But during the game, there the beach, people were sing, uh, singing and uh, uh, some equipment, music equipment was playing and very noisy. So I stopped the, the game, called the tournament director, the local. Then I spoke to him. He went to the, the to that, uh, the, the, uh, manager, hotel manager, and spoke with them, then stopped noisy. At the same time happened in the, during the, the game, one of the, one of the player, a legend player, she wearing the shoes, which make very noisy. When she walked, make tuck, 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 very, very noisy. So in this case, okay, she, uh, she said, okay, I, I have only these shoes, I don't, I, I don't have. So it was two, two way to solve the problem, one way, to change the shoes and they cannot advise. The second way to bring the carpet, bring something like carpet, something to cover on the floor, the, uh, the ground, and uh, they was walking without any noise. So we solved uh, this is the problem. Uh, always we try to not disturb the player by any noise. Uh, in the venue also, the walking distance to the toilet should be maximum two minutes. Sometimes the toilet will be inside the venue. So this is easy. Our players, once he finishes his move, he has to play his move, then take permission from the arbiter. Okay, arbiter will go to toilet. Then he can go to toilet. Toilet must be very close, not outside the building. If the outside the building, you have to move a long distance, then uh, maybe take five, 10 minutes. So in this case, consider as a cheating because maybe use other device inside the toilet, someone give them some information. So, so for fair play, it was uh, very, very bad. So it's considered as a cheating player. So for that, uh, we advise to be not uh, far than, or not be spent more than two minutes. So for two minutes can go with toilet and come back, especially in the inside the room, no problem, but outside the room can be considered because uh, because especially if we have in the open tournament, we have both uh, men and women, so we have to provide with two different uh, two different toilets. Must be two different toilets, one for men, one for women. Uh, so uh, even uh, this is uh, the, the organizer must uh, be uh, checked before start the event. He knows he will organize the high level tournament. He has to uh, provide provide material, which is the official material, which is the standard material for the high level tournament. So this is job, not during the game, we discover, okay, only one toilet or discover the toilets outside very far. This is, even this is job of the technical uh, people from FIDA, for that few people, uh, FIDA, they're sending their technical uh, two or three months before start to investigate and, and check, expect everything is okay to run this event. Uh, so uh, during the round, players and officials are provided with coffee, tea, so must be coffee, tea. 
not player want to have a coffee, and nothing in the in the venue. So he tried to go outside the building. Uh, there is one cafeteria, buy from cafeteria. So he spent the time go outside and maybe he, he meet some friend that give some information, use the cheating method. So uh, has to provide something, coffee, tea, water, and this small thing uh, must be drinks can be available in the venue. However, this drink must be placed in the player's area in such as a way that they don't use any disturbance uh, uh, arbiter or the ball for entry and the place where the drink are. I remember in World Cup 2022, last World Cup, or no, this, this year, 2021, uh, uh, in August, we were in the Sochi in Russia. Um, in the World Cup, they, they have a special in the corridor, it was the, uh, the area for the buffet, there were the drinks, there was uh, water, and uh, the, they keep everything inside the refrigerator on the, uh, it was outside the tournament hall, but it was covered by the screen, by the cameras. And one arbiter always follow this area and watching the players not to speak to each other. So it was outside, but not very outside, next to, to the venue. So this is no problem, can be like this. But always might be someone, uh, chief arbiter appoint oh, one or two arbiter, his job just look after the venue, after the playing area, uh, what are players doing? Where are they going? The toilet to go to analyze room, to go to the uh, restroom, where they go, they have to follow them. Always must be like this. Okay, thank you for, uh, or listening about uh, this chess equipment. So before we go for the uh, next step for the laws of chess, if you have any question about the chess equipment, the standard, which I mean standard chess equipment, I am ready to answer. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mahdi. So uh, we open uh, the opportunities for people to ask any question either by chat or by raising hand for audio or video. Or if they need break 10 minutes, okay, no problem for me. Okay, since uh, there is no any question, uh, I think we can take a break of either five or 10 minutes. What do you think? Yes, we can come back. Now it's uh, almost uh, 10 p.m. Dubai time. We can come after 10 minutes. Okay then guys, uh, we take a break for 10 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> 